Edexcel Corpure, Sequences in Series 3, Method of Differences, and the Maclaurin series. The Maclaurin series for standard functions. We have already seen how functions such as e to the x, sine x, and cos 2x can be approximated by a polynomial Maclaurin series. Many other functions can also have Maclaurin approximations. You need to be familiar with the following approximations. e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial with a general term x to the r over r factorial and this is valid for all real values of x. lin 1 plus x is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 with a general term minus 1 to the r plus 1 x to the r over r and that is valid for x between minus 1 and up to and including 1. And sine x equals x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 factorial with a general term of minus 1 to the r, x to the 2r plus 1 over 2r plus 1 factorial which is valid for all real values of x. And cos x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial with a general term of minus 1 to the r, x to the 2r over 2r factorial which is valid for all real values of x. And 1 plus x to the n is 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared which is the general binomial theorem. And generally for real values of n, x needs to be between minus 1 and 1. So we need to be familiar with and be able to apply these following standard Maclaurin series when necessary. So now we have our standard Maclaurin series for several standard functions, we can now look at doing an expansion up to the x cubed term of a slightly different function such as e to the minus 3x. So we have our standard expansion of e to the x. So to create this new expansion I just need to substitute x with minus 3x. And if you bracket the minus 3x as you're going along it may avoid potential sign errors. The original expansion, it's worth noting before we start, was valid for any real value of x. So e to the minus 3x, the expansion becomes 1 plus, it's now minus 3x, plus minus 3x squared over 2 factorial, plus minus 3x cubed over 3 factorial, etc. if required. And simplifying these terms, we get e to the minus 3x is 1 minus 3x plus 9 over 2x squared, so this last term will be negative and the 3 cubed will cancel with a 3 factorial to leave 9 over 2x cubed. Since the expansion of e to the x was true for all real values of x then this expansion will be valid for all real values of x as well. So the thing to remember is that you have a standard expansion for e to the x which you can always look up and that you have substituted x with a minus 3x ready for simplification. In this example we'd like to find a Maclaurin expansion up to quartic terms for lin of 1 plus 2x. So there is the Maclaurin expansion for lin of 1 plus x. So if we're doing lin 1 plus 2x it would become 2x minus 2x squared over 2 plus 2x cubed over 3 one more for look, minus 2x to the 4 over 4 plus dot 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 and if we tidy this up we'll get lin of 1 plus 2x can be approximated as 2x minus 2x squared plus 8 thirds x cubed minus 4x to the 4 dot 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 because the 
equivalent for lin1 plus x is valid between minus 1 and 1, then this expansion will be val valid when 2x is between minus 1 up to and including 1. In other words, when x is between minus a half and up to including plus a half. So the validity of this one would be between minus a half and plus a half. In the next session we're going to be looking at the Maclaurin series of composite functions.